up everyone, it's Wolf, and um, today's date is August 19th, 2015. Very nice summer day out here in Massachusetts, and I figured I'd come and show you guys a really nice place that just opened back in May here. So, it's been a while since I've been to a Dave & Buster's. It's actually been three and a half years since I was last at one, which is the one in Braintree, Massachusetts, um, on the South Shore, south of Boston. And, um, but this is a new one that opened it, that opened in Woburn, Massachusetts, which is, uh, I'd say it's roughly about 30 to 40 minutes away from uh, Braintree itself, maybe a little longer, I'm not too sure off the top of my head, but um, Woburn itself, this place is just opened and it's a brand new building and it's very, very nice as far as, um, as far as the actual games and the actual establishment itself goes. So, kind of show you guys a little bit around this area. Let's go from there. So, I just got a whole bunch of free plays on this machine right here, but basically, if you guys don't know what Dave & Buster's is, it's basically kind of like the, the equivalent of uh, Chuck E. Cheese for adults, I guess you could say. Um, but I mean, it's good for all ages too, so a lot of fun, a lot of games, tons of games here that you can play, win tickets, and win, win uh, great prizes, like really, really good prizes, like none, none of that, like, uh, uh, none of that cheap stuff. You can win, like, video game systems and stuff like that, so I'll show you around. play this game I'll show you how it works so you take your power card which you load with actual uh, with actual um, money on it which they call chips here for um, this card itself and some guy just won a thousand apparently on this thing so we'll have to let that pay out before it Itself is gigantic as far as um, the capacity goes. Well, let's take my card, swipe it in. Now, today is half price Wednesday, which is why it's so busy in this place. So, normally, when you refill your card, I'll show you guys in a little bit here, but basically, you're going to want to take your actual card, just slide it right in here, and that's how much it costs to play 3.4 chips. And I'll show you guys what a chip is equivalent to in just a sec here. Slide it in. The object of this game is to launch the ball a black hole, and uh, you want to get in the jackpot hole, which is a lot. staff here at Dave & Buster's. That's epic. There we go.
Monopoly. Wizard of Oz, which is the only real coin pusher machine they have here, which I'm sure most of most arcade people are familiar with. Pac-Man Battle Royale, Super Trivia, Pharaoh's Revenge, which is a coin, another coin pusher game. Here, let's play Gear It Up, which is a self-explanatory game. I'll show you guys how this works. the button, make sure the ball gets where it says up and not miss. Now it gets harder as we go up. ticket place. Well, I'll show you guys that after. These are all the games now. Now, these games right here that you see, these are the only games that you actually get tokens for. And what you do is when you insert your actual card into the actual machine, you get, um, I think you get 10 tokens for uh, like, like 10 chips or something like that. Smoking Token, one of uh, an old classic game right there. Super 21. That's a fun game. I'll show you guys how this one works. Oh, it says lock, so you can't play it. Four coin pusher games, H2 Overdrive. That's one of my favorite uh, racing games that they have here. Harpoon Lagoon. Crazy Curves, you have Spin and Win. Big version of spin and win, spin out, and yeah, monster drop, old classic game over here. I can't believe this game came out four and a half years ago when we, uh, the first time I saw it. The coin pusher game here is a uh, pirate's treasure quest, a good old spin the wheel game, self-explanatory. Space balls. ticket version of Stacker right here. Of course you have the classic Ski Ball, which if you get 500 points you win the uh, ultimate 500 ticket jackpot. Price is Right, Shell Game, which why don't we play this and I'll show you how this works. Chip away. 
Solar Spin. I used to play that game all the time back in the day when I was a kid. I used to play it. You could actually win prizes on it instead of just tickets. Angry Birds Arcade. This is one of the, this is a machine that I haven't really seen yet, but take this ball and the slingshot and basically launch it towards the actual. the actual board itself, but it's not exactly all that easy for that game. At least, at least for the people that tried the first time. It was pretty easy to get a hang of it afterwards. Of course, you have Big Bass Wheel, a bunch of them right here. Basketball, which you get, the, get 90 points, you win 100, well, several hundred tickets. Time Crisis, Big Buck uh, Hunter, Terminator, Sal Terminator Salvation, Aliens, Armageddon, House of the Dead, great game, but it's not working, unfortunately. Time Crisis 5, look at that. Two minute drill. Of course, you have the classic Cyclone game over here. You have a couple of them. Simpsons Soccer, Monster Hunt. And unfortunately, there's no DDR here, but they actually decided to pump it up, as you can see. Which is the, basically the equivalent of DDR, except the arrows are diagonal, including the center button, if you don't know what pump it up is. It's unfortunate because I still love DDR to death, but I think it's come and gone here in America. It's still popular in Japan, but four-way air hockey, as you can see. Of course, these are the popular ticket games that you see in most arcades these days. Down the Clown, Jug Toss, um, Gold Fishing. Let me go back over here. We got more Time Crisis, more House of the Dead. It's basically the same games that were on that side over there. And we come back full circle over here. Dark Escape 4D. Ghost Squad. Typhoon, which is, I think, kind of like a roller coaster ride almost. A virtual uh, roller coaster. Snow Cross. Dead Storm Pirates. Transformers. And of course, my, one of my all-time favorite games over here, which I just played, Daytona USA. Well, one of my favorite games from Sega. Pac-Man's Arcade Party. The new Jurassic Park arcade game, as you can see. The big one. The claw machine, as you can see. This game, the first time I tried this, I came here a few days ago, and the first time I tried this, I didn't even know what I was doing. I hit the button, and I won the, I won a thousand tickets on this without even knowing how, what I did. But I'll show you how this one works. Put this one in. Launch the fire. Hit the button, you hit launch the ball down, it goes down there. You want it to get it into that, into this top hole right here because if you do, that's a thousand tickets instantly. Everything from stuffed animals, 
Shoe down here, and Domo, and a bunch of stuffed toys. Like Hello Kitty, My Little Pony, all that good stuff. That, like, again, no, nothing cheap. Nothing like, uh, not your typical, like, cheap stuff that you would see in most arcades, like a Chuck E. Cheese or something like that. You do have, like, the typical prizes over here, but they have a lot of uh, apparel that you can get, too, as you can see up there, like, with the uh, shirts and uh, sweatshirts and uh, shorts and you may have beach towels down there. But this is where the good prizes come over here. So you come over here, you get clocks, you get... Uh, Beats, headphones, you get an iPad as you can see. So that's quite something. This is the ultimate area right here. Xbox One, PS4, PS4 games, Xbox One games, Nintendo Wii U bundles, iPods, electric guitars. Then you come back over here where the prizes are not as expensive, but they're still pretty decent. Disco lights, and you got like, shot glasses and uh, action figures. Well, you know, wine coolers. Look at that. There we you. Most of the Dave and Buster's apparel over here. Coffee makers, poker sets, cups, all that good stuff. So. Bouncy balls, basketball, soccer balls. Quite a lot of stuff. Come back full circle one more time. So, come back over here towards the entrance, and because it's a Wednesday night, they actually have uh, several police officers here too. Because, and I'm not surprised either because there are so many people here on Wednesday night for Half Price Wednesday. All the games are half price, definitely a great time to come and uh, spend the night. A lot of fun. And one more time, here's the restaurant area over here. They have a sports lounge down over there, and the actual restaurant and bars right there. So pretty much that was a little walkthrough of this Dave & Buster's here in Woburn. As you can see, it's a brand new building that they just built back in um, back in May, I believe, is when they first opened Yeah, May was when they first opened it. So, and the best part is that it's, it's literally right off the highway. You go right off the highway, not even a couple blocks up the road, and you're right there. So... Nice spacious parking and not really in a very crowded area. Plenty of uh, areas to park, but you can see this parking lot is completely full. But in the end, guys, hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough of Dave and, the new Dave & Buster's here in Woburn, Massachusetts. And with that said, we'll see y'all later.